guys, it's Emma, and this is my brother, Luke. And we are going to be doing something with these slime balls we have standing in our hands. And I do not have a tutorial for this out yet. But I'm telling you now so you can buy the supplies and go get them. There's two supplies. And one that you're definitely going to have your house like I, you do. Um, that you should go get. And it's super fun. This entire thing came in one batch. Like, hold that up, Lukey. This big, this is a big wad. This is a little bit of a big wad, and that's a pretty big wad. So, um, you need one tablespoon borax and a third cup water. You're going to dissolve that. And then in a separate bowl, you do not want them to mix. Like, use a spatula, mix them up, mix that up, and then wipe it off and clean it off. And then go over to your other bowl and mix together one cup of water and an entire container of glue. Um, like, clear glue makes clear slime. Gel glue makes kind of clear, but kind of more opaque, uh, opaque. and then um, white glue makes more, like, just opaque, single-colored slime <clears throat> that's not clear at all. But I added glitter and food coloring to mine, and I started out with blue, and then I made it darker, and I made some green from that, and some purple, obviously. Made all the cool colors, and then I'm going to make be making the warm colors in my tutorial. And, yeah, so basically it was pretty easy once you've mixed those two things in separate containers you just dump them into one container and they make this start you gotta stir it super fast and it kind of makes this really weird slime stuff and then you knead it with your hands and it gets really cool and it's basically this stuff but it's just more sticky but this is what we made but what happens is when you first make it it's a lot more sticky so in if you're doing this it's gonna get stuck to the tip of your fingers it's super easy to pull off but it's just after you put it in an airtight container and let it sit overnight, it gets a lot less sticky. And even after an hour or two of just playing with it, it, yeah, and it's super bouncy. Like, I took it to a restaurant, um, and we just sat with it and kind of let it, he just played with it. And I let my brothers play with it and everything. And it's just great to have at restaurants, in the car, sitting at home. I entertain myself for three hours with this stuff. It's, it's awesome. And when you first make it, it's so liquidy that, like, I sit on my hand, and it just, I put it on the table, and it made a mass about this big. Now that it's a lot less sticky um, and liquidy, it, I'll show you, see, it's kind of oozing. You can kind of tell that right now, but I'll show it to you once it's kind of been fully oozed. I'm just going to sit it here in front of me. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. So just buy the stuff, and you can make it from that kind of brief explanation, but it's better to watch my video. I'm on it, and I will have that video out pretty soon, because I'm just going to buy some glue, which is so cheap. It's like, borax is, like, a tablespoon of borax, that's, like, equivalent to maybe two cents. I don't know. And then the glue is 50 cents a bottle, so it's 50 cents. This is about a 50, around 60 cent DIY, because if you're counting water, which is basically free. Obviously, it's not free. We know that, but, you know, ends up being about 60 cents to make this big thing of slime, where you can get it at the store for, like, five bucks. Um... Yeah, so obviously I made the blue, the green, and the purple, and kind of it's basically, it's pretty it's just awesome. You love it, Luke? Yeah. I love it. My brother, my other brother loves it, Jackson. My mom loves it. My dad says it's really disgusting. He doesn't really like the feel of it, but I love it. This one's a little weird. I'm probably going to go put some peppermint oil on it. Yeah, but, and it doesn't really leave that much color in your hands, as you can see. Well, it, whoa, that looks like it has a lot on the camera. This is mostly from, I was kneading in the color. I had, like, uh, only put a little bit in, so I put a couple drops in, like, the middle. Went like this, and then kind of squished it, and it got all over my hands, but it also colored stuff. But, yeah, you can even tell from Lukey's, he doesn't really have that much color on his hands. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and this is a long video for this, but make sure to subscribe, like, comment down below how you make your slime, and go buy the stuff to make this stuff, because it, it's literally my favorite, like, I always see stuff on YouTube, I'm like, it's too hard, I don't want to go buy color-changing paint. But if it's something simple that you can just grab on your way to Walmart if you need to get something random, then go ahead. Yeah, it's basically awesome. You can add little di plastic dinosaurs in it to make it, like, a more sensory and kind of, like, chunky. Or you can use clear, um, dye it brown, and instead of some of the water, make... Um, the glue solution out of Coca-Cola or using Coca-Cola scented perfume oil um, and that makes it look like Coca-Cola you can actually put it in a glass and it literally looks like it's Coca-Cola and then you can add in some 
glass beads that are in the shape of an ice cube. I saw that done. I think it was on... I'm just going to say this, and if that's wrong, I'm sorry. I this think is it partly was on, oost right now, partly yeah. I think it was on Hello Maffy. Maffy, I don't know. I think that's where it was on, but I'm not sure. I'm going to link that down below because I do want to know that before I just say this because I don't want to, like, take this idea. But anyway, yeah, you can make that Coca-Cola slime. It is pretty much awesome. So, yeah, just go make this stuff. Go buy, well, go buy the stuff to make it and wait for my video. It should be uploaded within the next week and... Yeah, see you later. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe wherever the button is. And like. And comment down below how you make your slime. Bye. Bye.